What's up guys, in this tutorial I'll be very quickly showing you how to set up and use the Quixel Bridge plugin. So let's get started. First we need to enable the plugin. So go to edit, plugin, type in bridge and enable it here. Now bridge is meant to be automatically installed with UE5 but for me it wasn't. So if you can't see bridge in your plugins, let me show you the fix. Close down your project then hop into the Epic Games launcher then go to the library. Now if we click under UE5 we can see we have no installed plugins. So what we can do is scroll down to our vault, type in bridge and then directly install bridge this way. When this is installed we can hop back into our project and re-enable the plugin. Now Quixel is very simple. We can open it by either going content, Quixel bridge or by right clicking in our content browser and clicking add Quixel content. Now you'll need to sign into your Epic Games account if you're not already. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to preferences and choose where you want the assets to be saved. Now we have four tabs. Home where we can scan for all the different assets. Collections where groups of assets are stored together based on where they're from. For example we've got an ancient temple collection where all the ancient temple assets are stored. Then we have favourites for assets we favourited and we have our downloads under local. So once you see an asset you like, you can select your item quality and drag and drop it into your level to begin the download. I think it's awesome you can do it like this, but for me it feels more natural to select the quality, download the asset and then click add. Both these methods will add the asset into your project under the Megascans folder where you can use it freely. So that's it for me guys, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you all next time.